Hi everyone, this is Imran from Themes Code. Today in this video training, I will show you how to set up a cookie banner on your WordPress website using CookieBot by User Centrix. It's an amazing tool for the website owners looking to manage cookie consent and stay compliant with the privacy regulations like GDPR and CCPA. Now, let's get started. Getting started with the cookie bot is super simple and it's free. So let's dive in. I have provided a link in the video description below. Click that link and it will take you to this home page. You can see now. Well friends, here is the example of the cookie banner we are going to create in this video training. Let's get back to the cookie bot home page. Now let's set up our website. To get us started, here you can see a start trial button. Click a start trial button. Here we are. We will create our account here. Well friends, we have several options. We can continue with Google. We can continue with Microsoft account. But I always prefer to use my email address. I entered my email address. Now, hit this continue button. OK. On this interface, we will verify our identity. This system will send us a six digit code. I believe you will see a similar email and copy this code, paste here and hit continue. Here we need to set a strong password to continue with CookieBot. I'm going to set a password. OK, hit continue. Well, finally, we are here on the onboarding page. Here you can see, tell us about yourself and welcome to CookieBot. I'm going to scroll down and here you can see profile information. We need to enter our information. Here you can see, are you signing up for yourself or on behalf of a client? Let's myself. What industry do you operate in? Here you will see several options. For example, I'm going to set this one. Consulting. How many people work at your company? 2 to 10. And the next information. How many domains does your company manage? Let's on domain. Next information. What kind of work do you do? I'm a web developer. What is your role in your company? I'm the team lead or manager. Okay, fine. So everything is good. Hit next. Oil paint. Another two questions. What are you looking to achieve with CookieBot CMP? CMP means consent management platform. Just click here and here you will see several options. I'm just going to select the first one. Want to collect consent? for advertising purpose. And the next one, how did you hear about CookieBot on YouTube? Fantastic. Now here you can see a big button, get started. Click get started. Fantastic. Now we need to add our website URL. Here you can see, enter your domain URL. Here is my website. I'm just going to copy the URL. Come over here. I'm going to enter the domain name here and scroll down. Here you can see, select template. Get started with a predefined legislation preset. Here you will see several preset. And on the right, here you can see where it is applicable. Say for example, GDPR. It is applicable in the Europe and European Union countries. According to your business and your business location, targeted audience, you can select the legislation preset. I'm going to select the first one, GDPR. OK, fine. Then here you can see on the top next button. Click on it. Let's configure your consent banner. I'm going to scroll down and here you can see the banner. And under design, we have layout option. You can choose from two layouts. One is dialog, another one is bar. Here on the demo side, we have the dialog. It casts the attention of the user. OK, and if you select bar, it will display on the bottom. I like this one because it will be displayed in the center. And here goes a style effect. Click on it and I select overlay and it will add additional style effect. OK, finally, go to design. Click on design and here you can see theme. The light theme is applied. But click on it. You can select dark. You can also customize it. I'm going to click custom. And here you can see on my website, it is the primary color and it is the accent color. According to this color, I want to design this banner. Okay, the general colors, the background color, it is white. 
I prefer it should be white. But if you want to change the background color, just come over here, click on it, and you can change the color. I'm going to leave it white. Okay, then text color. I'm going to click over here until I say hex color. It is pure white. But for the text, I'm going to choose 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4. That's perfect. And here you can see highlight color. Here you can see highlight color. But I want to add this accent color for the highlight color. So come over here again. Click highlight. Click over here until I see the hex color code. I'm going to enter a code. Here you can see the highlight color. And here you can see shades. Just click on it. Click over here. Set hex color code. I'm going to enter the color code here. Okay. This is the shade color. I just matched with my brown color. I'm going to scroll down. Here you can see button colors. Here you can see the first button. It is blue. But I'm going to change the color. The background color will be. Okay. Text color will be white. And I need to change the border color. Okay. That's fine. And we have two buttons left. We need to change the border color of these two buttons. So here you can see button 2. Just directly change the border color. You can also change the text color. Okay. I'm going to click button 3. Change the border color. Okay. That's perfect. Now, the important option is you can display logo. Like the way I did. Here it is. Just check this box and you will see this option to upload a file. You can upload JPG, JIP or PNG file. Select upload file. Here is the logo. Click open and it is uploaded. And here it is. That's perfect. And friends, on the bottom, here you can see compliance. It is too important. Just click here. And here you can see select territory for visitors who will be asked for consent. I mean, say for example, you are doing business, especially in Europe. Then you can select EU and EEA only. But if you want to run an international business, then click over here. And you will see a lot of options. You can only show in Asia, Europe, Africa, etc. But here you can see all visitors. I like to check this box and select all visitors. Here you can see all visitors. Now it's great. And here you can see on the right, it is content. What will be the content? Here you can see content. Below you can enter edit relevant content. This website uses cookie. For privacy policy, you can edit anything. You can style also. I'm not going to make this video too long. These are easy options. Self-explanatory. Okay. Default language will be English. Or you can add another language too. And let's go to privacy. Click on it. And here you can see on your website, it will show a privacy button. But you can disable it. I'm going to enable it. And you can change the position. Bottom left. You can bring it to bottom right. Here you can see. You can top left. But bottom left is great. And you can manage the distance. 10 pixel, I'm going to set 100 pixel, 100 pixel from the bottom, but it doesn't look cool. 10 is perfect. Okay, next theme, just select here, dark or custom. Okay, we like custom because we need to change the color. I'm going to change the highlight color. Now highlight color is changed 
and here you can see button the button on color i'm going to change the background and border enter the same color for the border i mean it will depend on the website's brand color and here you can see go to button 2 change the border color here you can see it looks professional and we are done with the privacy that's fantastic and here you can see next click on the next wow we are here implementation finally we are going to implement and here you can see wordpress and some other options what i'm going to do just hit the finish button and it is the dashboard we are sent to the dashboard i'm going to uh, okay i'm going to directly go to the implementation click over here and here you can see wordpress just click on it at, and it will send you here to download the wordpress plugin okay but i will follow the different way okay so we are almost done with the setup process onboarding process now we are going to connect our account with cookiebot to our wordpress website so let's see how we can do that okay here is the installation guide okay so get back to the dashboard of our wordpress website well friends now let's connect our cookiebot account to our wordpress website and to do that we need to install our wordpress plugin i will provide the link of the plugin in the video description don't worry but you can also install it from the plugin search okay here you can see plugins and click on add new plugin i'm going to search for cookiebot and here is the plugin user centric cookiebot just this one okay just hit install now button hit activate and you can see a new menu cookiebot on the left and here you can see cookiebot click on it and here you can see set up your cookie banner activate free banner and this option is not for us because we have already created an account so here is the option for us connect account just click on it and here you can see domain group id and get back to the dashboard and here you can see under the dashboard under implementation and here you can see installation guide and domain group id just click here copy to clipboard and get back i'm going to enter the code here and hit this button connect account and here you can see changes have been saved and it is connected well friends now you will see a lots of options here also just take your time and configure everything okay now let's see whether our website displays the cookie i'm going to reload this website here and here you can see the cookie bot banner it looks absolutely amazing and the color is masked to the our brand color everything looks great here you can see the logo i'm going to copy this url i have opened a guest profile and here it is we can see now on our website it shows the cookie banner absolutely amazing well you can display cookie banner like this and your users will hit this button allow all that's great now on this profile on the left you can see the cookie banner we changed color everywhere according to our brand color that's fantastic now if i reload it won't show up the cookie banner again i'm going to close this browser and get back to the main window okay that's all now i think you will be able to display a cookie banner like this on your website here you can see details here you can see about everything is here okay friends i believe after watching this video you will be able to create a cookie banner on your wordpress website with cookie board by user centric